We are 22 days into hurricane season so far, and we already have some activity brewing near the African coast, as well as Tropical Storm Celia currently going on the Eastern Pacific. What's going to happen in the near future with these systems? Let's go find out. With the latest National Hurricane Center advisory, Celia is now forecasted a tropical storm strength with maximum sustained gusts up to 50 miles an hour. However, this is going to change as we go into the weekend, as Celia is supposed to be forecasted at hurricane status here uh, that is shown by the National Hurricane Center. Thankfully, this is going to be moving off to the northwest and south of the Baja California Peninsula, and this will be having no impacts to land whatsoever as of right now. So there is some good news. As I said at the beginning of this video, we do have some thunderstorm complexes that are currently in the Atlantic Ocean that was previously coming off of the African Sahara coastline that's going to be working its way towards the west. And again, on satellite here, you can already map it out just off the coast of the African uh, Sahara Desert. And looking at the NHC five-day outlook, we do have a 40% chance of cyclone formation within the next five days. Crazy enough, I haven't seen this yet, but originally this was uh, forecasted below 40, which would be highlighted by the yellows, but currently now it's actually uh, between 40 and 60%, which right actually right now it's at 40%. So the chances have gone up for a cyclone formation within uh, within the next five days. So let's take a look at the sea surface temperature anomalies. And we can see right here how warm and cool the waters are. And you can see over here, Tropical Storm Celia currently in that warmer pocket of water, but it will eventually drift off to the northwest into these cooler waters. So thankfully, this will not pose a threat to even Hawaii, as typically hurricanes don't really progress that far out west. However, looking into the Atlantic right now, we do have some really warm sea surface temperatures. And that is going to be the fuel for these hurricanes, the instability. And again, really, really strong, especially right here just off the African coast. And these will be working their way to the west. However, you do see this cooler pocket. We do have some drier air aloft just further to the north. But uh, these storms will not be interacting with that drier air is this high pressure uh, is just going to be setting right over the northern Atlantic. So that high pressure is going to be forcing those storms just to curve to the south and to the west, which is why the track is so far south in this run. Typically, the, the high pressures usually influence or have a part of an influence of these hurricane tracks or part of these uh, tropical storm tracks. So Again, we don't have a lot of dry air that's going to be interacting with this. And again, we're not in prime season yet, and I don't expect this to be anything crazy, but something to, something to keep watching for, for sure. Again, let's take a look at some Euro en ensembles. Now, how this works is, we, we've talked about in terms of uh, severe weather forecasting, we take a look at the Euro, the GFS. Now, with these models, they have ensembles, so they have different runs within the one model. So you can have, you know, you can have some ensembles, like say, for example, Ensemble 1 have a hurricane that hits Florida, but, you know, then Ensemble 15 that has nothing that happens. So one thing that we look for these ensembles as forecasters is the consistency of these ensembles for a, a longer duration of time, for several days. So let's take a loop, let's take a loop at what the Euro Ensemble has, and you can track this low pressure system right here, which is uh, what we're watching out for. Again, as it starts to make its way towards the west, and it has, you know, has that southerly track influenced by that high pressure system off to the north. And it looks like it's definitely going to get in, at least the Euro members really have it going just south of Cuba, south of Haiti, uh, going into the, to the uh, islands over here just off, off to the east of Puerto Rico. Now for long range forecasting, you know, we, we, we're not trying to look for exactly what's gonna happen. You know, again, for this type, uh, for, you know, five days out, we wanna see consistency or just a general rough idea on what's going to happen. Nothing, you know, word for word, or, you know, we're not gonna get down to specifics, but we just wanna see how the models are handling this potentially uh, future uh, tropical cyclone. But, Definitely looks like the Euro ensembles are pretty bunched up, and you can see how bunched up they are now, right here. Even as we get into uh, south of Haiti and to the uh, islands over here, and again, as as it starts to get towards Haiti uh, and south of Cuba, they really start to just uh, fan out. But 
you're again, Euro still has some really high confidence that this thing's going to keep its southerly track and not go to the north. So again, this is going to be really interesting to see how this happens. Let's go take a look at the GFS. So looking at the GFS, you can definitely see our system down here to the south. And it looks like the GFS has this system a little bit further south than what the Euro has. But you can definitely see it here as I move this cursor. And, you know, we're starting to get into really long range GFS, but definitely looks like uh, GFS has this system still even pushing uh, somewhat uh, how the Euro uh, how the Euro uh, unfolds, but you know still showing that track just to the south of Cuba and to these islands just to the north of uh, Venezuela. So again, this is really going to be interesting to see how this evolves, and it's really concerning to see how the models have handled. Uh, is, has handled this system. We have seen in the past before uh, a couple systems. It is kind of rare, but uh, it does happen from time to time. It's typically this time uh, this year, uh, these tropical systems run into shear. Uh, that typically kills lots of storms a whole lot faster, but we did see it last year with Tropical Storm Elsa that hit the, Flor the uh, Florida Panhandle region last year. So it definitely can happen uh again but again nothing's for word we don't know what's going to happen with this but uh the the trends right now are a little bit worrying considering that the nhc has upgraded this to a 40 percent let's take a look at another global model that we use the gefs this is pretty much highlighting the mean pressure centers uh within the model uh you know within the model ensembles and you can definitely see just to the south of the dominican republic and also uh haiti south of puerto rico as well included in that you see that's a better confidence area on where that uh low pressure the center of that low pressure system is going to be at so we have the gefs we have the euro and we also have the gfs uh in line with uh where this is pretty much heading so pretty high confidence i'd say within most of the long range models and again that's not guaranteed to happen i'm not saying that that's just you know a higher confidence to say uh, for the National Hurricane Center to say, okay, this has the best chance of happening, per se. So final thoughts wrapping up this video. Tropical Storm Celia is going to be working its way northwest. Uh, we'll be reaching hurricane status by this weekend. And again, I'd like to mention there is no threats of landfall for this tropical system. So that is a very, very good thing. And lastly, we do have uh, this disturbance out in the Atlantic Ocean that is really, uh, really has everyone's uh attention right now is this is going to be working its way to the northwest into likely the gulf of mexico considering how the uh, gfs euro and all these global model ensembles are handling the system right now so again intensity i'm not going to be the one to speculate intensity i don't want to I, I don't want to wish cast I, I don't do that uh but however the track definitely looking likely to go into the gulf of mexico uh just to the south of puerto rico and that region right there in the gulf so again, something to really keep an eye on if you live uh, anywhere between Puerto Rico, any of these islands uh, in the Gulf of Mexico, Haiti as well, Cuba also keep an eye on as well uh, within the coming week. Uh, again, don't know intensity. We won't know that uh, until you know time goes on and you know we'll see how the system progresses. But something to again, something to keep an eye out regardless. So I also have to mention this will be the first year that I'm going to be chasing hurricanes and I gotta say I'm pretty excited and as you guys know I I mostly chase severe weather and tornadoes but this year I'm going to be expanding my chasing sphere if you will into the tropics uh, anywhere from the Texas coast all the way up to Maine if I have to I will chase a hurricane. In the future I really want to go uh, out of the country in chase, especially in the Philippines. I really want to do that. Uh, you know, once I get older, uh, I, I want to at least travel out to the country, out of the country and chase typhoons, cyclones, maybe. Um, but that is, that's, that's for the future. But for right now, for this season, we're definitely chasing in the U S for hurricanes. I cannot wait for you guys to, uh, to see the upcoming videos of the chases and I, I just can't wait for the entire journey. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will keep uh, posting these update videos on uh, this tropical disturbance out in the Atlantic, as well as we'll check in with Celia uh, once it makes hurricane status as well. 
So again, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. You guys have been absolutely doing fantastic with the support on this channel. You guys have just been fantastic, and I cannot thank you guys enough for the support. So again, we will do an update video here within the next couple days to see how these uh, tropical systems are doing. And yeah, we'll see you guys later. Take care.